Hello Leos, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your bonus reading. You are second up for the most views. Thank you to all of the Leos. I think you had a bonus reading last week as well. So thank you to all of the Leos for um, coming back and re viewing these readings and these videos. I appreciate you. I love you. I love your support. And I thank you and I'm grateful. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This reading, again, is for all of the Leos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is just a bonus reading. It's timeless. If this um, reading resonates with your situation, comment below. Let me know. I do like to hear fear, feedback. If you like my energy, my vibe. You connect with this reading, you feel like I'm the reader for you, and you have not subscribed to this channel yet, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit the thumbs up image to help the video circulate. If you need a personal, private reading, something more specific to your situation regarding love or, or finances, the link to the email address is in the description box. And if you just want to donate, be nice and donate to the channel to help me purchase some new audio. I've been getting um, lots of complaints. Not a lot, but some complaints about the audio. The link to the, the PayPal link is in the description box. We have the two of wands here for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Your color energy is the two of wands. Why is this two of wands here? Okay. The five of wands. What is the past energy for the sign of Leo? Okay. Okay, so we have the knight of cups. We have the three of cups. Your overall energy is the high priestess, cancer Pisces energy. What is in the immediate future for the sign of Leo? We have the magician. Gemini Virgo energy is here. What is it that you fear? What are you fearing, Leo? Leo, some new rising and Venus. That's that's too many. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius with their star card coming, flipping over. You fear the tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries. Okay. Two of Swords. What are you hoping for? Okay. The Nine of Swords. And what's the outcome for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Okay. So we have the Temperance. Sagittarius energy is here. The Three of Wands came out as well as the World Card. Okay. So let's get started. I have to get some water. It's so hot. <laughs> well, I'm hot anyway. All right. So, you're in a situation that's stuck, suspended in the air, and not moving. Could be dealing with a Pisces. And I feel like it's stuck, suspended in the air, and not moving because you have a decision to make. And you're conflicted about this decision. I feel like you are going back and forth in your head about what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and you're deciding on which. I feel like right now you're walking in your shadow side and not in the light. Some of you are walking on the shadow side and not in the light because you have a decision to make. But you're not, you're conflicted about it. And that's why things are stuck for you and not moving. In the past, you could have been moving towards a third party situation with that three of cups. Could have been moving towards a third party situation. Offering your cup to a third party. Some of you have a black car, gold red or gray car 
or white. I feel like you are very emotional about this third per this 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 um this other person, but you don't know what to do regarding this situation. But it's on your mind because you want to take action, but you can't. So some of you could be dealing with someone with the initials of J or B. But I'm seeing you being very emotional. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces with this high priestess. You are listening to your intuition at this time. You're listening to your intuition. I feel like with the Magician card, Virgo, Gemini energy, you are manifesting. You, you are in a process of manifesting. Some of you could be... Um, like detoxing at this time, like eating um, solid fruit and vegetables, or I'm seeing a detox. I feel like a detox is going on. Fasting, something like that. You fear a tower moment. You fear the foundation of this union crumbling down because you, you fear being blocked and restricted from this person. You fear not being able to see this person. And you're hoping that this doesn't cause you to become anxious you're hoping that you can hear because i feel i feel like right now you may be anxious you may be up at night some of you are um some of you may be sleeping alone you may be sleeping with someone but sleeping alone like i'm hearing alicia Keys song um what's that song uh like sleeping with a stranger or something something like that like you're with someone but not with them so you are sleeping alone but in this 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 um time that you are lie awake you're gaining wisdom you're trying to gain clarity you're hoping that you can gain clarity and wisdom from the universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors, so that you can bring imbalance within this union. Could be with the Sagittarius. And you're waiting. You're patiently waiting. You you could be um, dealing with someone that, uh, another Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or an Aquarius. But you, there's some emotional distance or physical distance. You and this person may live in two different cities, two different states, two different countries, but there is distance here. And you're ready to move towards that person, travel towards that person quickly. Some of you are ready to travel towards that person quickly with this Knight of Wands. That's your energy. But we have to put the butt there. The question is, are you still playing games? Are you still being charming? Are you still um, being a player? Because the Knight of Wands represents the player. Or are you coming in for a new balance, a new situ a, a new beginning in love that will bring in some balance? Something that's consistent. I don't know because I see you still have, there are choices here. I'm still seeing that you or your person apply the energy as it fits to your story. There are choices here. You could be dealing with the cancer with this chariot card coming out. Or you could be moving on from these choices in order to have victory in this relationship that is on your mind. You could be moving on from these options. That's what I say. You're moving on from these options and these choices. Yeah, because you want to reconnect with this person. Six of Cups. You want stability. This person makes you happy. I feel like this person makes you happy. They light you up. That's your card, Leo. You feel good about this person. I mean, when you're with this person, you feel good about them. They make you feel good. And I feel like that is what is being illuminated to you at this time. Could be dealing with the Taurus. So you're taking control of the situation, Aries energy. You're taking control. 
So go towards your wish fulfillment with that nine of cups. Yeah, because there's some regret here. There's guilt and regret here. Some of you are crying over spilled milk, crying over something that you may have done. Oh, yeah. Crying over breaking this person's heart. Or this could very much well be vice versa. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. You're crying over breaking this person's heart or they are crying over breaking your heart because someone here in this story is married. Yeah. So, you stop putting work in this situation or this other person. The other person did. Yeah. Stop. Someone is holding back at this time. It's either you or this other person. Bread crummy. Someone stopped putting in work because they were getting bread. They weren't getting anything. The bare minimum. So, they put it into this cycle so that a new one can come in. Scorpio energy. What's... The outcome. Someone is, you may be taming yourself. You came out twice in your own reading. You're taming yourself. You're taming yourself. You want to go towards this person, but you're not. You're taming yourself and and um not taking action at this time. Yeah. Because you're you're still juggling. I'm still seeing juggling energy here. There is someone else in the picture. Yeah, so you're taking your time. Because you know, you know when you go towards this person, you have to come correct. So you're taking your time. You're up at night thinking about how you're going to go towards this person because this person is like home to you. This person makes you feel complete. You're happy with this person. You really love this person. Or they love you. But I feel like some, th there could be an age gap. Someone could be um, spying on the other person. But I'm seeing some action is going to be taken, going to happen quickly. You may be messaging them. They're messaging you. Yeah. After being withdrawn. There is going to be a reconnection. I don't know how far it will go. Let's see. How far will it go? I'm going to pull a couple more. How far is this going to go? How far is this going to go? Between Leo and... Okay, so I see a conversation is going to take place. An honest conversation after some time. And again, there's a lot of emotion here. I see two masculine energies here as well. But there is a conversation going to take place. Because there is going to be emotional. But I feel like with the will of fortune coming out, something needs to end in order for something to begin and move forward. Or else someone's going to walk away permanently. So I'm going to leave it at that, Leos. This is your bonus reading for heaven. You were like in second place with the most views. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing and energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. If you need something more specific, don't forget the link to the email address is in the description box. And if you want to donate to the channel, the PayPal link is in the description box as well. Again, thank you for watching it, and I will see you next time. Bye.